All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to roll a perfect cigarette. Now, there's a couple things that you, you really should know about doing this. Firstly, the things that are, are gonna affect this are one, your rolling papers. You know, how thick are they, how thin are they? This is all gonna change the feel of the roll. I personally like a fine paper, not too thick, not too thin, basically right in the middle. These are the Arislas. And you can see right here it says between low and high. Okay. Um, you're gonna need to get a pack of filters. Um, the bigger the filter, you know, the bigger the cigarette. The smaller the filter, the smaller the cigarette. I take the uh, six millimeter. Then, quality rolling tobacco. All right. Uh, depending on how the tobacco is cut and shredded is gonna also affect the feeling when you roll it. Uh, basically, there's no right or wrong tobacco. You just have to get used to the one that you use. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the steps to successfully roll a cigarette. I see a lot of other videos online that kind of just say, oh, well, here's the hard part. Uh, you know, you gotta flip it under here and then roll it. Well, that really doesn't help somebody who's never done it before. <clears throat> so, Firstly, you're gonna wanna open your bag. This is, this is a really important step. You're gonna take from the tobacco, you're gonna pull little pieces off and kinda just spread them out in, in like a little bit of a fluff, okay? And basically what you wanna do is get the right amount of tobacco here. This is important. If you get too much tobacco, it's gonna be hard to roll. If you have too little, it's gonna be hard to roll. This part is up to you uh, to, through trial and error, match the amount of tobacco you need to your filter. Okay, once you've done that a bunch of times and, and found out how much you need, I know how much I need. It's about this much, okay? And remember, it's fluffy. It's airy, that's how you want it. Then, what you need to do, okay, is take the filter, put it at the end. Here's the gum strip, here's the filter. With your index finger, hold it, and with these two fingers on either side, okay? This is important. Then what you're gonna wanna do is take your tobacco, and place it in really lightly, okay? Now, this is the hard part that most people tend to breeze right through. Um, a, something that's gonna affect your roll here will be the amount of oil on your hands, okay? I actually have some super glue on my hand right now, but your skin has natural oils. If you've just washed your hands with soap and removed that oil, it's also going to affect uh, the ease with which you're gonna be able to roll your cigarette. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, hopefully I, I have some oil on my fingers now. You can also kind of lick your thumb very lightly in order to get a nicer grip on the paper. Now, once you've got everything laying in there, you're going to very lightly Pinching your fingers on both sides. Roll. And roll it so that all the tobacco starts to go into a nice little cylinder, okay? So I'm basically just gonna lightly do this. Lightly. This is important. Lightly. As you do this, you're gonna start forming the tobacco in the paper into a nice little cylinder, okay? Then, this is the hard part, that everybody says is the hard part, okay, is getting this to roll into a nice cylinder. What I do is, I hold these two fingers here, you see my middle finger on each hand on the bottom, index fingers over here, pushing down with my thumb, I want to bend the top portion over, and then it should roll into a nice cigarette. Now I'm gonna lick. Okay, I now have this licked and I'm just gonna continue the roll. 
and now I have a nice cylindrical hand rolled cigarette ready to smoke with a filter okay hopefully that was uh, good enough for you guys